Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Barry, a hiking guide. It's Michael, and I've got Beth with me. Uh, it's been pretty busy, so I've been pretty much running the channel and looking forward to uh, going over these top fall hikes in the Bay Area with Beth, so stay tuned. All right, so we're up here on Mount Diablo. You can see the beautiful Mount Diablo behind us. We're on the south side. And uh, I'm looking forward to talking about something that's going to be really unique within the Bay Area. And things start turning around quite a bit when we get into fall. Um, a lot of the oak trees uh, we have, uh, the Garys, the Black Oaks, uh, even, the, even the valleys have a nice little bit of yellow on to, to them. And then we also have the big leaf maples. Mm -hmm. And there's some other stuff that also changes color as well as in the fall, Beth, right? Uh, we've also got the poison oak, of course. The poison right. oak has already started to change. Yeah, we've been seeing that pretty we, early. Um, we've also got the um, California grapevines. They're beautiful. They have great red color, red orange color. They're really good too. So well, I'm looking forward to going over this with you. It's top 10 hikes uh, for the fall. It's been such a popular thing. We did um, we did the summer, we did the spring, we did the winter, and they've just been booming. A lot of people love those. People have been checking them out. Uh, even when it's not within that season. So, uh, pretty popular. All right, so when we do all these, we're basically focusing our attention primarily on the color and just having that nice color, full color you, uh, we get within the Bay Area here. Now, I know it's not the East Coast, but it is uh, pretty spectacular, especially when uh, you get a nice cluster of uh, black oaks together or even some Gary's, it looks really nice. So let's go through uh, number 10. What do we have for number 10? Number 10, we've got uh, Sycamore Canyon which is basically right behind us and right below us where we are right now. Um, you can hike either from Curry Point, it's on Mount Diablo, um, Curry Point, or you can come out of Rock City on Mount Diablo, goes down in the canyon, um, goes along a creek. Usually anywhere where you've got a creek, you're going to have maples um, that are going to be colorful. You're going to have probably the grapevines, you're going to have poison oak, and those are the things that are going to give you color. Uh, also black oaks in some of these areas too, they're great for color. Uh, but Sycamore Canyon is a really nice place to go in the fall. Really great fall color. What do we have for number nine? Uh, number nine is Los Trompas, uh, the Sulphur Springs area, which is on off of right off of Los Trompas Ridge. Um, I like to, you, there's a couple of different ways you can get there, but I like to go from the Bollinger Canyon, hike up the ridge and kind of go down, you go down into the creek and it's beautiful and then hike back up and out. Um, and that's a great place. There's a little, a little area where there's three little bathtubs where there's a spring and it's, it's called the three bathtubs. Yeah, I like Los Trumpets a lot. It's, it's got a lot uh, of really cool, unique, uh, Unique color there. Uh, there's some black oaks, like even in Camille, as you're going up Camille, there's there's some black oaks and in there. Some nice too. and hemi as well. Hemi yeah, too. there's yep. some nice color. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. What do we have for number eight? Uh, number eight is uh, Stage Road, also on Mount Diablo and and Diablo Foothills. You can either go from Machado Ranch at the end of Green Valley Road, or you can come in from Castle Rock, which is basically in Walnut Creek. Um, all along Stage Road, again, you're following Pine Creek. Um, it's Pine Canyon, it's part of Pine Canyon. There's beautiful maples in there, there's beautiful um, grapevines. So that's a really great place too. And that's the uh, Castle Rock Regional Park basically section, right? And, yes. then it, and then it eventually goes into Mount Diablo. Now that whole area is really unique. I mm -hmm. mean, it's got, it's got the uh, Peregrine Falcons, which we'll go and do a video about that later. Um, and just uh, some really amazing color. I mean, the, they've got the, the grapes in there, the California grapes, the wild grape. Um, and just a lot of um, big leaf maple in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really yep. do. And I enjoy that park quite a bit. Really good for the kids, too. And it's, it's good for beginners. And then number seven, we have uh, Jack London uh, up there by Sonoma. Right. That's a great place, too. You can hike out into the, um, into the woods there. There's a little lake. Um, That's where Jack London lived. This is where he actually lived there and he wrote some books there some of his books there, um, him and his wife lived there. He had like, it's a really interesting place. Jack London State Historic Park. Um, but there's some beautiful trails in there that are very wooded and, and very beautiful. Yeah, we were uh, closely monitoring that area when the fires were going on up there uh, about a year or two ago, yeah. um, which was really unfortunate. But uh, things do seem to be uh, in the Sugar, Sugarloaf Park, right? Mm -hmm. Sugarloaf Ridge um, State Park. Yeah, yep. the things are starting to pick back up again and, and grow again but uh, luckily Jack Lennon area did not get burned up 
um, and it's really nice in the fall. They get a lot of that, uh, the grapes and stuff in there. As you get further up, I think there's some uh, blacks in there too, if mm -hmm. I remember on Cal, uh, Cal Flora. All right, number six is Bear Valley. And it's basically what I what I intended for is Bear Valley right there, the Bear Valley uh, staging area, and then that trail that goes along there, that main trail. What is that trail called? I, I think it's called the Bear Valley Bear Valley Trail. Bear. Yeah. Yeah. There the, we go. Out of the Bear Valley staging area, um, you can hike all the way out to Divide Meadow and back, I think it's about a three mile hike, it's not that difficult. And again, it's beautiful in the, in the spring too. I think it's on our spring hikes, one of our better spring hikes too. Um, beautiful wildflowers, but also great fall, you know, color too. Yeah, it's, it's definitely uh, nice. And it's also uh, fairly pretty pretty easy hiking. Yeah. If you stay along that trail yeah, and don't go to, don't shoot off any of the other directions. Uh, and then we also have uh, Sonol here, which always seems to uh, make it on the list practically almost every season. Yep. Uh, except does. for summer. I don't think we had it in summer. Oh, we might have. Um, <laughs> but Sanol uh, Indian Joe Trail. So talk us to us about that. You love Sanol. It's like That's like your home. Yeah, I love Sanol. Um, but Indian Joe Nature Trail especially has really nice fall color. There's great maples. There's great oaks. Again, it follows a creek. It's very riparian. Um, and you can go up to Cave Rocks, which is this cluster of little uh, basalt bowls. I think we did a video on that a while back. Of the basalt boulders it's really interesting um, you can just go up it's a little bit of a climb so it's a little bit more difficult but um, beautiful fall color in there yeah it's a gorgeous park and then even to uh it's not really part of the the sonol section but the ohlone wilderness we're actually going to uh, head on up there hopefully in the fall in the ohlone wilderness which you need a mm -hmm. permit to get into and uh, apparently we've been, we've got uh information from books that we've read that there's some uh ancient black oak so mm -hmm. i am stoked to get my body up there fast hike on get the gear and stay there for for maybe a night or two and and just check those out and i'll take you guys through that when we do that so i'm looking forward to that um all right so we have bishop ranch uh, number four well that's my place <laughs> <laughs> um i love bishop ranch absolutely love it it's a hidden gem and the only reason it's number four is because it's nicked right behind a bunch of, you know, homes. There's a lot of development in there. Mm -hmm. um, but it is just a really, really unique park. And one of the things that I, I, I just absolutely love about that park is it looks amazing in the spring, but it also is just so colorful in the fall. And the reason for that is because there is a big cluster of black oaks in that park in several different locations. There's gotta be over a hundred at least. Every time I go there, I find new ones. Um, I love my black oaks, which we'll go through later in another video, but um, it's so colorful, so vibrant. It's just outstanding. It's just such a hidden gem. There was somebody I was on all trails, uh, not to get too big into number four, but I was on uh, all trails and somebody was mentioning Bishop Branch and the girl's like, oh, this is kind of a boring hike. And I'm like, what are you talking about? So you go there and you check it out and fall. You were going to be blown away. Um, I'm going to yeah. try to do a... Um, a fall uh, hike for some people get that all together so you guys can really see some of that color the only downside about it is there's sections of it that are a little steep um, in some areas getting around there um, so it's tight and, and uh, it's got some steep grade uh, where you just you know you can definitely step, sleep slip so you want to have the right uh, hiking shoes for sure especially mm -hmm. that first section where it just shoots you straight up yeah. um, so anyways I love that park hidden gem of San Ramon for sure um, all right, number three, Alum Rock. One of your favorites. Alum Rock is really nice. Um, again, there's a stream that, or a creek that runs right through the Penicetus Creek, runs straight through Alum Rock, and parts of the trail just follow right along that creek, and you've got beautiful fall color. You've got beautiful um, maples and buckeyes that are turning, and it's just really, really nice. Really beautiful in the fall. Good summer hike too. Yeah, and a lot of uh, a lot of historical stuff there. They've got the whole uh, the museum, right? And that's right. run by the city of San Jose. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, great stuff to take the kids and, and kind of uh, check out some stuff in the little museum. They've got some live uh, live critters in there as well um, to definitely check out. So that's definitely a, a park to uh, explore. Now you do uh, you do get quite a bit of sulfur in there from all the springs. Yeah. Number two. So number two is the uh, Mitchell Canyon. 
area of Mount Diablo over there in uh, Clayton. What do you have to say about Mitchell Canyon, Beth? Um, Mitchell Canyon is also, again, follows a creek. That's always a key. And uh, great uh, maples, some beautiful maples in there. There's beautiful uh, wild uh, grapes, California wild grapes that are just hanging down from the trees, you know, with their red color. Um, it's just, it's just great. Yeah, it's, it's one of the better ones for sure, as far as color goes. Yeah, we went in there a few years back. I, I always have this in the back of my mind because it was such a bummer, but we go in there. The fall color was amazing. It was actually better the week before Beth had went up there, but we went and it was still incredible. And they had a little bit of water in the creek there. And uh, the fall color, as I progressed to go through Mitchell Canyon with Beth, and we got further and further in, it just got better and better and better. And my battery died on me. So I had some pretty awesome shots that I could have taken, but I, I didn't because the battery died. So to this day, I always carry my three on me uh, that are full because of that particular reason. Um, but it was just so beautiful. So it's definitely a park to check out. It's just incredible. And you get a lot of tarantulas too to check out. Uh, just rolling around a lot of those male tarantulas looking for the ladies. Mm -hmm. Um, that are that I see quite a bit in that section of the park. So don't be too scared to just let them do their job um, and uh, go your merry way. They're not going to, you know, jump at you or bite you in the neck or anything of that nature. <laughs> um, all right, so number one is Henry Coe, and we've been there uh, once, and it, it shocked us with how much black oaks we saw in that area. And as I went on to Cal Flora, there was just buckets of black, you know, just little clusters of them and then bigger clusters and the we haven't been there in the fall but we've been there in the winter and we're already we're putting this on number one because as we went through what was the trail that we went through that we saw a bunch of the black oaks the uh china hole trail china hole trail mm -hmm. and we went to the china hole trail and we came back up and then there was our other little section but even from the china hole trail it's just like the black oaks were everywhere. Yeah. So we know that it is going to be quite a show uh, come fall uh, for sure by how many black oaks we are seeing. I've never seen that many black oaks in a particular area that wasn't in the foothills. Um, yeah. So we'll have to do another video. We've got to do another video. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to take you guys through there covert style, you know, bunker yeah. up. Yeah. Um, so that's why it's number one because we know how incredible it is just by the amount of black oaks that are in there and how much show you're really going to get. And the cool thing about black oaks, and I'm just going to briefly go through this real quick here, um, is when you get light that beams through them, especially as a photographer in a certain time of the day, if the light's coming from the other direction, it really amplifies that color quite a bit. So uh, definitely something you want to check out in so many people in the Bay. We, we hear this uh, quite often, more than we should. A lot of people think that hiking there's like a particular time of year and season for it you know like oh after spring hiking stops or whatever and that's not the case at all it's all year long and there's every year there's something special and unique from the fall the winter and 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 on so uh get out there do some hikes and really go and explore also if there's an area that we didn't mention because there's a lot of bay area um, leave a comment down below. Tell some people that you know uh, some areas in the Bay Area that are really cool to check out. We'd love to hear from you. And if there's anything you'd like to add to that, Beth? Um, the weather's really great in the fall, too. There's less people on the trails. The uh, school's back in session. Um, the trails are much less crowded than they are in the summertime. So many people go to the parks in the summer, and like Mike said, they stop going in the in the fall and they think they're done for the year but it's actually a great time of year to go it's not as hot um you know the days are nice and warm but it's not hot i mean you don't see on um, the spring color but you've got the the fall color to replace it so absolutely great time of year. and don't let those tarantulas get you down okay you, you learn about them and just understand their purposes and everything they're not going to jump and bite you in the face like some hollywood movie okay <laughs> i know they've done that a million times so your kids are back in school and you guys can go and spend some of that free time you have to get out there and check those parks out so all right guys thank you so much i enjoy doing these videos thank it's you. great to have beth back on <laughs> and kicking some butt again to do some of these videos with us as vol volunteering uh, her time as a special guest so Thank you so much. Have a great day and uh, take care. Thank you.
Give me that confidence. That... <laughs> if I can just get that right, God almighty. Get out there, explore, enjoy yourself. The kids are in school again, finally. Ugh, I don't even have kids and I know it's gotta be exhausting. <laughs>